Hello and welcome to TTV News with some latest events in Indian province. Ladies and gentlemen, recently the Standing Committee of Indian City People's Council said at the conference about some good experiences in their sub-region. This is the unit to coordinate and organize the standing meeting of the People's Councils of Province, District, Towns and City. Since the implementation of Resolution 594 of the National Assembly Standing Committee on Supervision Activities, the Standing Committee of the City Peers Council has seriously observed and applied many contents. In particular, they pay special attention to supervision through questioning at the meeting. At the meetings, the Standing Committee of City Peers Council spent more time discussing, exchanging, and questioning to clarify and explain the contents presented at the previous meeting. In addition, the selection of the group of questions to be questioned and the person being questioned at the meetings is also concerned. Furthermore, the quality of questioning at the meeting is increasingly improved. In addition, the groups of issues raised by the Peers Council for questioning are appreciated by voters and public opinion. When the notice of concluding questions and answers is issued after each session, the responsibilities of the Standing Committee of the City Peers Council and the Special Committees and Delegates are specified by Standing Committee of the Provincial Peers Council in supervising the implementation of the interrogation conclusions. In the afternoon of August 17, the National Assembly Delegation of Jenin Province continued to supervise the topic, the issuance of administrative decisions leading to citizens' complaints related to the land sector in the province from 2016 to present. Mr. Pham Hong Tai, Standing Deputy Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, head of the Provincial National Assembly Delegation, had taken the delegation and chaired this working session. According to the Peace Committee of the City, the receipt of complaints and petitions that in the reporting period and the previous period changed to 138 applications out of 138 cases for decisions related to the land sector. It is eligible for acceptance and under the jurisdiction to resolve. In addition to further clarify the report, the monitoring team requested the Peace Committee of the City to supplement some contents such as total number of administrative decisions issued in the period, the organization of dialogues with citizens, cadastral record keeping. Concluding the supervision, Mr. Phan Hong Tai suggested that the City Peace Committee should pay attention to the dissemination of information in an open and transparent form to reach consensus before issuing administrative decisions. In addition, it is necessary to strengthen the dialogue between the leaders and people. In the afternoon of August 17, the command of Military Region 7 have a conference to review the progress on building residential area adjacent to the border military post in the second phase in the areas of the military zone in 2019-2025 periods. The conference were attended by Lieutenant General Nguyen Tung Thang, member of the Party Central Committee, member of the Central Military Commissions, Deputy Secretary of the Party Committee, Commander of Military Region 7, Lieutenant General Trang Hoai Trung, Secretary of the Party Committee, Political Commissioners of Military Zone 7, leaders of the People's Committee and a number of departments and branches from Tây Ninh, Long An and Bình Phước Province. After the implementation period, up to now, the project has been completed and handed over 40 reports out of 411 electrician houses at the border military checkpoint. In the province, up to now, 21 houses have been built, inaugurated and handed over at 11 points out of 115 electrician houses at border military checkpoints, an increase of 10 houses compared to the defined military zone project. After handing over, people have gradually stabilized and developed. The close relationship between village love, neighborliness, and border military posts is tightened. People are very excited and determined to rise up to develop life in the front line of the country. Representatives from Tinan, Binh Phuc, and Long An provinces also discussed difficulties in the implementation process.
Mr. Yung Wang Tang, Vice Chairman of the and Rufi Service Committee, suggested that the military zone should report to the central government to replicate this model to the whole border of the country. There are there general mechanisms and policies to support more resources for localities so that the project not only becomes more effective but also meets the requirements of the task in the new situation. The military command of Hotan Tao has just had a conference to summarize the experience for the model, military grasping the situation of households in the Tao. After nearly three years of implementation, the whole Tao has 76 military men. They are grasping the situation of 228 households. From 2021 up to now, the Tao's armed forces have always fulfilled the target of recruiting and calling up citizens to enlist every year with high quality. Nguyễn Đình Huân, Deputy Commander, Provincial Military Command, appreciated the motto because it has received the trust of the party committee, the government and the people for the task armed forces. At the same time, he suggested that the party committee and military command of the town continue to clearly divide their tasks to direct the military and self-defense forces to actually coordinate with the police and relevant forces to implement some issues such as rasping the local situation participating in rescue, overcoming the consequences of natural disaster, and preventing epidemic. They both contribute to stabilizing the local situation and create conditions for people to develop their economy. At the Television Center, in the afternoon of August 17, the signing ceremony of cooperation between provincial radio and television station and Vietnam Integration Magazine was held. At the meeting, the two sides agreed to sign a memorandum of understanding on strategic cooperation to accompany together in implementing programs with the goal of sustainable development. The two sides will focus on a number of contents such as digital transformation, social economic, security and defense, tourism, renewable energy, social security on the platform of the two sides. Specifically, there are six main infrastructures and over 50 different infrastructure of the radio television stations such as TV channel TTV11, FM radio channel 103.1, website TNTV.vn, landing page TTV11.com.vm, and Tenant TV applications on smart device. The platforms of the Vietnam Integration Magazine can be mentioned such as Vietnam Integration, Vietnam Integration Magazine in Range, Electronic Version, Vietnam Hội Nhập .vn, and a special page on legal management, Pháp Luật Quản Lý .vietnam Hội Nhập .vn. The communication cooperation period between the two sides is one year from August 2023. The rest of the working session, the delegates visited the Television Center. The audience before the development of COVID-19 epidemic around the world caused the soft variants ET5 Omicron. The Provincial People's Committee asked local departments to coordinate in training measures to prevent and control the epidemics to contribute to the creation of conditions for social economic development. Specifically as follows, implementing the directions of the government, the Prime Minister, the Provincial Party Committee, and the Provincial Peers Committee strictly in the prevention control of COVID-19 and other infectious diseases such as dengue fever, hand, foot and mouth, etc., each of us needs to actually prevent ourselves and the community so that the epidemic does not re-emerge as well as minimize the risk of epidemic overlap. In addition, the departments and branches need to be proactive in issues such as monitoring and keeping of risk of the epidemic situation in the area, repair response plans when epidemics occur, continue to remote surveillance, early detection and timely handling of cases, and effectively implement the expanded immunization program in 2023 as well as vaccination against COVID-19. 
Some other issues are also targeted by the provincial views committee, such as the organization and reparation of treatment opinions, effectively implement the work of directing the light, improving the capacity of diagnosis and treatment, continue to ensure logistics, funding, drugs, vaccines, biological products, supplies, chemicals, equipment, and human resources to be ready for epidemic prevention control, strengthen communication to raise people's awareness in protecting the health of themselves, their families, and the community. At the Connection and Cooperation Program to develop tourism between Tainan Province and the administrative boards of Phnom Penh City that took place in the afternoon of August 16, Ms. Trang Nguyen, Deputy Road Director of Sun Group, has raised the expectation that Tainan will welcome 6 million tourists in 2024. Currently, thanks to the investment in tourism projects, not only in terms of scale, architecture, but also multi experience, Tainan has become an attractive destination in the southern region, in which Sangrobade Motion Tourist Area is the most typical product in the province tourism picture. It accounts for more than 90% of the total number of visitors to Tainan. According to Ms. Dung Wing, in addition to the cultural and spiritual works that have been invested by Sunrup in Baden Mountain National Tourist Area, Sunrup will continue to Sunrup will continue to invest in past hotels and resorts in the near future so that Denin becomes a place where it has known for its full range of tourism services. At the same time, they focus on exploiting the potential of festival, spiritual and ecological tourism here, prioritizing investment in service works, information centers, projects on development of tourism technical facilities, service system, amusement parks, conference and exhibitions in Denon City. Ladies and gentlemen, citizens can now report crimes on the Electric Identification Application, referred to as VMEID, through this application, all information that the petitioner relates will be kept confidential during the settlement process. VNEID is a digital citizen management application with functions such as medical declaration, health insurance information, driver's license, relationship between family members and whistleblower criminal. Citizens can perform the above functions anytime, anywhere, without having to go directly to the police office. The Ministry of Public Security will deploy the sending of denunciations and information about crimes through the VNE ID application to create conditions for people to improve the efficiency of crime reporting. It also contributes to bringing into full play the movement on people protect national security. When citizens send denunciations and crime reports through the VNE ID application, that information will be transferred directly to the denunciation and crime reporting software of the community level police. The city police have implemented a model of denunciation criminals through the VNE ID application. Police in words and communities have introduced people to make crime denunciations through the VNE ID application. From there, the police upwards and cameras will easily identify themselves and hand to them. Previously, the Public Security Agency received reports, information and denunciations of crimes and issues related to security and order through direct communication with the people in direct reception via telephone, etc. However, with the development of 4.0 technology, the widespread use of VNEID application has become a quick and effective channel to denounce criminals. Benefits when people use VNEID application to report crimes can be mentioned, such as ensuring information, not revealing identity. In terms of time and space, anyone, anyone can participate in denouncing crimes anywhere. After people participate in denouncing crimes on the VNEID application, the World and Commute Police will receive, verify, and clarify the denunciation report. If there is a violation, they will handle it according to the provisions of the law. 
Benman Camille Polis have received many new sources from VNA ID application, as bringing certain effects for people who are afraid to denounce directly through this application. In the process of receiving reports of rampant denunciations, the Camille Polis will assign a 24-hour duty force to ensure that people's information is received and handled as soon as possible and with the highest resource. It can be seen that using an electronic identity account is increasingly showing practical benefits. It makes convenient and safe for people. In particular, there is a provision of information and denunciations about scrams. In order to promote the armed people, rotate national security movement, prevent ram and resolve internal conflicts among the people at the grassroots level, each citizen can exercise their rights and obligations through the function of sending denunciations and ram reports via VNE ID application. That's all for TTV News today. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.